we are going to cut today boo boo mm -hmm. guys this is the material you can see the material over here i try to just iron it down so that it will just be easy for me to work on guys as you can see now mm -hmm. let's get to work according to the video if you want to cut this boo boo eh, depends on the shape of the person yeah, yeah that is what you are going to do the shape of the person we make you to know how it's going to be this is my personal one and i fold it into four now this is the point this easy way to cut this bubu train this bubu on on town yeah and you can see it's 22 from this place this point because i take it so year for me you understand so i from my uh from my shoulder uh, ankle my shoulder ankle that is where i took it now this very place i took it 22 into four i found it 22 into four and the full length is not full length it's under my knee which is a uh, 20 uh, 42 then i make it a uh, 45 to fold it this one i'm going to cut it i'm not going to cut it separate i'm going to cut it with the neck equal as you can see now this i will take this place four you can take three you can take four you can take three and a half in my own case i'm going to take four <clears throat> now I'll take it four now then the neck let's assume this is the neck of the back the back of the neck i'm taking a two then i will just uh, rule it you see now i'll mark it here and mark it here then if i'm taking it from here now i'll try to do the curving you see now this is the curving right i curve it already then i will come to this place i will take care of hit the hip i'm going to deal with the hip the hip is 24 my normal is is 43 43 divided by 2 it will be uh, uh 10,5.2. Then this 10,5.2. Let me say level 44. Let's say 44. Level there. Eh? I took level now. Mm? Then I will have five inches to it from this level. You see it now. I will have five inches to it. You see, right? Then I'm going to come from here to this place. Which is the ammo is 10, right? This 10. Now I'm taking a 22 from here. I will come here. I will also take 10 now. This end, right? Let me show you here. I will take 10 from here. Now that I add five inches to it now, because it's booboo, -boo, eh? it has to be free. Depends on what how you want it. If you want it to be bigger than this, no problem. It's, the, it's what you really want to do. But I just want this size. That is why I add five to it now. From this, my measure hip to here, five to it. And 17 now, then I will take 17 down. So if I'm bringing it now, I will use this ruler to rule it like this. Hmm? To this very point here which is the hammer eh? so when i get here now i will curve it you see so i'll do the curving like this i will curve it like this so that it will not be sharp you see now that i curve it now i will just split that place away okay let me cut let me cut back now we'll just do it like this i remove it like this because the shoulder, everything is cut together now. Now that I've cut this place now, you see it now? <clears throat> I'll make sure it's equal. Make sure it's equal here. You see? This is the shoulder. This very place is the shoulder.
this very place is the shoulder now right then you put oh where's my okay from this shoulder now you can take 10 you can take 12 in this situation i'm going to take 12 12 for my 10 is okay 12 is okay the person what you want if you want it to be really deep so now that i take i take 12 from here and this place is four i took four from the neck see it four now so this very uh -huh, neck right so in this situation i'm going to take one inches but here i will still take four so that if because i need the you see it now i'll still take four then i will mark it so also like this but in this place i want to get v-shape you understand I just want to take the two both sides together so that everything will be equal in this neck part i want to get v-shape this one inches that i took here now one inch that i took here now two inch sorry two inch that i took here or one inch but i took two inch i will bring it like this you see so that i can get the v shape you see it now so if i'm cu cutting it now i will cut it from me okay let me do the cutting you see how the shape look like the shape of the bubble look like now then in this situation we are going to get with the neck now i will take this measurement here from here from this place i'm going to take the round measurements to see Thirty four from here, then uh, plus three. That's thirty six. The neckline is thirty six now. You see, then this one is done now. This is the neck line. I forty two inches. Oh, sorry. Make sure it's equal then okay i'll do it two and half uh, um, half inch to so it two and half sorry guys i'm going to do two and a half normally it starts to be two two inches but because i will sew it with half inch so i need two and half half inch to sew it round okay two and a half two and a half two and a half in this situation and when i open it wide it will be five inches right Then I will start from this place. You already 
know the, the, the front and the back. I'm going to start from this point. You can see it now. This is the neckline. I'll bring pin. I will just uh, start from here. Then, sorry, I'm going to mark here a little bit so that if we are sewing it, it will be very easy for us to sew. You see now, I mark this place little so that when we are sewing it, it will not be difficult. Then you use the pin. I have to bring it very equal before we do the stitching. To come like this then you can lap it if you want to lap it you see it now maybe we can just stitch it because we are in tutorial <laughs> let me stitch just that i don't want the video to be long but yeah we have to stitch now that i've fixed this place now i want to sew it around so that you see and i'm going to turn it at the back so that mm -hmm. It will be nice for me to stitch. You see? So, in this situation now, I'll just uh, do it like this. Okay. Lap it so. A little bit. You cannot, if you want to lap it, no problem. If you don't want to lap it, you just leave it. You see now, you do it from the back so that you get the shape. Now I, I pin it already. I'm going to put it on the machine to stitch it round before I bring it out. I'll do it, I'll stitch it straight. Yeah. Okay, guys, you can see there how the front look like now. Wow, so beautiful. So, so beautiful. I've not done with it yet, you see? So I'm going to remove the pin. I'm going to remove the pin now. You can see the front of this uh, booboo, the way it look like. Guys, just tell me now, not try. Share the video out, guys, so that a lot of people can learn. Yeah, we are really doing something great here now. This is the neck of the bubble. It's not finished yet, eh? Now, you can forge anything of your choice. Just say, uh, I want to do something. You can create anything of your choice here, yeah? right? And uh, if you want to, like, in this situation now, uh, I'm still going to put this uh, color. This color is very beautiful. Thank God I chose it because I was bringing a lot out. I didn't know the one to put. I was thinking this cell uh, already is too deep for this, but it goes. It's very, very nice. It's very, very nice. It, at least it brings out the beauty of the material. Now, you can decide to bring them. Uh, Guys, share the video at all. Share and at, not just keep up between yourself. You can decide to put on the hand if you insist. But for me, I think I will put on the sleeve, on the sleeve hand. I'll use it to fold it. Yeah. It will, it will, make, it will make sense. It will make sense. Wow. Now, as you are doing it, you begin to iron. Or you can, yeah. If you iron, it's more better. It will make the beauty out 
Okay, right now I have some left over. Let me use that one. If you don't see my eye, no problem. <laughs> From this place to this place also is 10. Then I will just uh, mark it. I just want to do something. Yeah. You can decide what to put there, it doesn't matter. Uh -huh. You can just decide what to put there. Now, in this my situation, let me see the wideness of this. I'm going to, okay. I just want to do something. Uh, okay, this is the back. Okay. In this place, you don't need to just, but just do something creative. This is the point, right? You can mark the point here. Yeah. And I just want to try something. Then, uh, this is, uh, yeah. So, now that I've done it like this. How do you see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll do something like this now. Hmm? Maybe I will do it like this. Let's see. In this place, you can do something just creative. Just do creative something. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I think this one is nice. You see, please always use iron to then I'm going to use my iron now to fold it so that I can get if I'm sewing it, it will just relax the way I want it. I can make it one side like this, it doesn't matter. I can do it two if I yeah, can still do it two side V. You know, this is the point now. I make it so, but this is the middle. You stitch it like this. You make it point so that if you are placing it, you can decide to put it one side, maybe from here. You see? It's also good like this. You can decide to put it at the middle, but we are doing it together. It's four. That is two here. We are not. Let's see. Then this point. And this we are mark it now. Let's see what it's going to look like. Then we are doing the pinning now. Mind you, I always tell you to pin. You pin only the front, not the back and the front, right? <laughs> so that you don't go and uh, if you want to sew it, it will not be difficult for you to sew. First of all, sew it straight. But before I sew it straight, I will bring it if I like the way I do it. If I don't like it, I can easily remove it and do it the way I like. Yeah, and I'm on my own now. So, then I also pin here. Why I'm doing this thing? Because so that it will be easy for me to sew. If I don't do it like this, when you are trying to fix it at the head, my dear, it will be very difficult. Okay. Wow. Okay. I think I'm going to do it like this. It's nice like this. What do you think? Yeah, you see? Mm, beautiful. Okay, let me stitch this first place. I will hang on it, then I'll bring it out. We are sewing it together. We are sewing it together, guys. How it look like now? Yeah. Let me remove the pin. So half. You can decide to use two inches, uh, one and a half. Um, that's two inches to add to it. Then you use half inch to sew it. Then you make it two and a half inches. But in my own situation, I want it two inches, half inches to sew it. Then at the end of the day, I will get. 
one and a half station. See now. Here's the pin. After filling it now, we'll still sew it. Okay, now let me sew it. Guys, you see how it look like now. So if you decide to put pockets at the front, you can still put pockets. See it now. Let me remove the pin. Now you can see the way I do it now. From the back, I stitch it to the front. You see, this is the back of it. Why this is the front? So if I'm joining it now, just like this. I will stitch it from the back also, sew it down to this place.